Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special reading on today. Happy new moon. Happy, happy, happy new moon. Yes, this is your quiet creativity time. This is what the new moon means, right? Yes, it is the 11th of April, but it's actually the first day of the month. Uh-huh. We're going to talk about that in just a little while. We're going to be talking about the number 11 and how it all comes back to you. Yes. All right. Let's get into it. This is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's do this thing, Aries. Let's go. Most High God in the Universe, give me a special reading for my wonderful Aries. In every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions, and spirituality, and where they need to take action. Yes, Aries, yes. I really hope you all are having a great day. It's celebrating. Oh, whoa, look at this card that flipped out. Yes, Wheel of Fortune spinning in your favor. Aries, listen. Listen. <sighs> I'm excited for y'all. I hope y'all are excited. I really do. Let's put this card right here. This is a major arcana. This is the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor. On this particular deck, it says the wheel, but on other decks, it says wheel of fortune. So yes, nevertheless, you've been putting out good energy in the universe and guess what's coming back to you? Boom. You got it. Good energy. Yes. So expect a gigantic yes coming your way. Yes. And I'm talking about an umbrella filled with yeses. Yes for this, yes for that, yes, 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 yes. And I mean in a good way. You'll start to see it when you actually believe it, right? Yes. Most people do it the backwards way. They say, ah, I believe it when I see it. But no, when you believe it is when you see it. All right, got it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. This is a perfect time. Like I said, this is a quiet time. The new moon represents being a very quiet time to start looking inward, right? To really, really start looking inward. I want you all to start this thing off right. I am an Aries. <laughs> Say it loud and proud. Oh, look at the oh, Aries. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all better get excited. I am an Aries. I am a God. I have amazing self-confidence. Yes, I am brave. I am creative. I am determined. I am confident. I'm enthusiastic. I am optimistic. I am honest. I am passionate. I am courageous. Yes, indeed. Yes, I am an Aries. Say it loud and proud. Here we go. Boom. We have the two of cups. Yes. We have the five of swords. Yes. We have the six of swords. Yes. We have the queen of swords. Boom! We have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's run it down. Let's do this. Oh, let's let's do it till you satisfy. Hey, listen. Okay, Aries. When I look at this deck right here, when I look at this spread right here, this first part of this spread, this is what this is telling me, right? You all have sailed away from anything in your life that has caused you stress, strain, and struggle. That hostility, right? That's including your child molesters in your family. That includes people in your family who did not support you um, when you wanted to tell them that you were molested by somebody. That means people that you were growing up with, <clears throat> excuse me, that didn't support you when you graduated, didn't support any good thing that happened in your life, you sell, you're sailing away from all of that. This is the new you, right? When we talk about the new moon, when, again, this is a time for nurturing your creative ideas and your plans. This is a time when you are planting the seeds. This is new, 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 new. People look at the first of the month as being new. No, this is your first of the month. This is a new, new, new time for you. It's a new you, a new yes, a new season, a new everything. This is the time where you play. This is the time where you dream. This is the time where you go easy on yourself. This is a really good time for you to strategize, envision where you want to go and allow those answers to come through stillness or nature. Go take those nature walks, right? This is where you're drawing those mind maps. This is where you're journaling. This is where you're being creative. This is where you're playing with ideas and options. You want to also start retelling your story. You also want to reconnect to your purpose in a new way. It's also a good time to come together and brainstorm with other people. But you just got to be careful with this brainstorming with other people because you got to make sure you choose wisely in which energies you're letting near you because 
again, you want to protect yourself, right? So again, you're getting, you're sailing away from every single thing in your past, your current, and, and you're learned from moving forward, right? Um, that you're not going to allow anything in your life that has been that's going to cause you to be hostile or it's a hostile environment, including your job, including people, any relationship, anything under that relationship umbrella, right? But what I'm getting really, really strong is that people are sailing away from things that happened in their past, staying connected to people who have harmed them in some way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? Got it? Yes. You are becoming one with you. See, some people will look at these two different hue of hands, right? And they would say, okay, these are two people together. This represents your divine feminine, your divine masculine, your seen, unseen, known, unknown, right? This is one person. This is you, duality, two of cups, right? Being in harmony with yourself. Why? Because you have sailed away from anything that has triggered you, has triggered any feelings of hostility or pain or when people, especially when you have people that you go back to and you say, hey, listen, this is what happened to me in my childhood and so on and so forth. And they're like, that didn't happen. That didn't happen because they're worried more about embarrassing the family than they are with your mental health or even breaking chains. Okay. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Here we go. And we're talking about you knowing, you know what, at this stage of my life, hey, I'll create my own family. It's called my soul tribe, right? We're on the same frequency. I'm disappointed in y'all. Y'all can't get your act together. Y'all still over there lying, right? But instead of me staying in an environment where it can become quite hostile and give me more headaches and more triggers, I got to go, right? I know I got my, my ancestors with me, right? Helping me sail away to complete freedom. Yes, yes, freedom, right? And what's birthed out of that pain that you've experienced is the queen of swords. Yes, somebody who is sitting on their throne, someone who knows that they are God, right? This is you standing in your power, vibrating at your highest frequency, because as long as you stay in hostile environments, it's going to cause you to vibrate low. This is you today. This is you, Aries. Somebody who is saying, listen, I'm sitting on my throne. I'm still friendly. I'm still very approachable, but I know what my power is, right? Look at your ancestors. They right there canvassing the whole world, bringing back information to you, saying, yes, you can trust this one. No, you can't trust that one. Get that one back. Keep them over there. Yes, you got your sword at rest position. But yes, it's a whole new you, Aries. Watch out. Yes, and as a result of you cutting things out of your space that don't serve your highest purpose, Meaning people who have harmed you in your life and who refuse to apologize or even acknowledge that they hurt you. Listen, look at the universe. Not only are your ancestors happy for you and they covering you on all sides. The universe is, look, you're manifesting a great deal of money and you're also creating generational wealth. See, what the people didn't realize in your family, the ones who wanted to sweep all that stuff under the rug and act like stuff didn't exist. What they didn't realize is that you were the one chosen to break, break the generational curse. <laughs> ah, yes, Aries. So, yes, you didn't even realize it at first until you started to see things, until you started to see things and you started to see, wow, I guess I was the one. And, of course, it doesn't feel good. Like I said, this is you feeling a little disappointed that they can't come along with you, but, hey, you got to do what you got to do, Right. It's too many people on this planet that you can create, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can connect with your soul tribe to even deal with that foolishness anymore. Let's talk about the number 11 for just a second. You know number 11 is a master number, right? So when one, the number one becomes 11, the original creative mind and leadership of number one are incorporated into 11 as the psychic master, blending one, which is you, into an experience of double new beginnings and enlightened leadership. Yes, 11 is the supreme balance, balance between light and dark, masculine and feminine. Where's the card? Known, unknown, seen, unseen, right? Yes, light and dark, masculine and feminine, supreme balance, right? The seen and unseen, known and unknown, right? And so when you think about the number 11, I want you all to see number 11 as being these pillars are a doorway and they symbolize an, initi an initiation, right? So your overall divine mission is to delve into the mysteries and miracles of life, to walk through those two pillars and unite active and passive, emptiness and fullness, receptivity and action, 
all becomes one within you. That's why I said this is the beginning, double blessings for you. This new moon represents a new beginning and double blessings for you. Don't miss it, Aries. Don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it, and don't look back. Yes, here you are. A person who is disappointed, but you're not looking back. Thank you to each and every one of you all who have been sending me your testimonies and sharing all this great news. Some of you all are, have just purchased your new homes as a result of walking away from chaos, confusion. Some of you all are celebrating brand new jobs. Some of you all are celebrating increase raises on your job. Some of you all have started your businesses. Amazing. See? Amazing what you can do when you choose you. Here we go. Let's see. Yes. Uh-huh. Business taking off. Complete and total healing. Learning patience. Yes, this is you all. Patient. Yes. Neptune. This is attached to the planet Neptune. The scales are falling from your eyes. As you get a chance to see, you're starting to see the beauty of life around you. A lot more of you all are taking more nature walks. Really, really just taking in, breathing in all that good air. Just loving life. Yes. Loving life. Loving where you are right now. You never ever thought in a gazillion years. <laughs> you know, I got to be extra talking about gazillion. <laughs> where they do that at? Right here on this channel? Yes. You never thought in a million years that you would be at this place of peace. And it would have been nice if you could have brought along people that you were raised with. People that you grew up in the same household with. But that's not how life is sometimes. Yes. Here we go. The Empress card. Some of you all are pregnant with a lot of spiritual gifts that you're about to give gifts to the world. You're about to burst wide open, about to give some wonderful gifts to the world, all as a result of you leaving that situation. I don't want you to look back on life and say, if I had left sooner, don't do that to yourself. Don't even do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now. Yes, you don't want to do that because things happen when they're supposed to. So just be grateful for where you are right now. You are completely and totally healed. This star card is attached to the Aquarius. You're feeling free. You're very powerful. You're feeling more and more emotionally intelligent, which is great, right? You are healed and delivered with the T at the end, right? Not delivered with the T. We're going to say with the T at the end. Yes. So we're saying here also the emperor card, Aries, this is your card. Boom. Yes. A lot of you all have, you didn't even realize how many people were looking up to you. They were looking at you as this authoritative figure, this leader, all of the things that you've always been, but it took you leaving unhealthy situations, unhealthy relationships. The relationship could be a work relationship, could be a marriage, could be a family relationship or whatever, but you leaving unhealthy relationships that were hostile and look how the, the universe repaid you. Uh -huh. It was always waiting right here for you. All this generational wealth sitting right here waiting for you. Here we have the King of Wands. Yes, your business about to completely blow up. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, Aries. And right here, this is where you all are right now. New moon. You've planted those seeds. You're continuing to plant those seeds, right? And so, you know when you plant seeds, you're not going to see the growth right away. You're going to have to keep nurturing and nurturing and nurturing. This is where you believe it, and that's when you will see it, okay? That's what I have for you. Yes, let's pull an oracle card and see what this oracle card has to say before we close this thing out. I'm so happy for you all. I'm serious. And by the way, happy birthday to all of my Aries. Happy birthday to each and every one of you all. Yes, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. I see some of the comments online, and I do say happy birthday when I see the comments online. Yes, your story will make a great read. I hope some of you all are writing books. I really do. If this is the confirmation that you needed, boom, here's the confirmation. Go write your book. It's going to be a great read, Aries, because some people won't even believe, and they won't even believe what you went through, because most of you all don't look like what you've been through. So people won't believe it, but when they read it, it's going to deliver. It's going to help to deliver a lot of people from their pain. That's what I have for you, Aries. Bye.